Christ. This is on that he knows the word. And so as I introduce to you Bishop Raymond W. Johnson, I introduce to you someone who knows Christ. I introduce you to someone who loves his family. I introduce you to someone who loves his church. But most of all, I introduce you to my brother. How many leaders I got in here? Amen. You're a leader in your church. Some level of leadership. I, I told you Moses was a pastor. He, he was the leader. But churches don't make it having one leader. You got to have leaders. Right, right, right. And it's important for everybody to be on one accord. Right. So Moses is on the mountain, and they got other leaders in the camp. Come on. And somebody came up with the bright idea. Listen to me. We're not going to wait on Moses. We're going to make us our own God. Now the lie Aaron told was, he threw the stuff down. It became a golden camp. <laughs> I said, Lord, you're doing magic, witchcraft or something. You just got a pile of gold, you don't go, and it became, no, he fashioned that. He took his time. The devil just let him take his time and make a, take the molten gold and make the image of a king. And they worship it. And what was so heartbreaking, not that long ago, they had a testimony of how God brought them out. And they reduced their deliverance to a golden cage and said, this is the God of Israel that has brought us out of bondage. Moses said, wait a minute, what's going on down there? I said, God is mad. Number one, God's about to kill everybody. <laughs> Moses was interceding on behalf of the people. And he really didn't know everything that they had done. God knew. God started telling hey, wait a minute, brother, you got all kind of stuff. Where are your leaders at? What, what, what kind of ministerial training you've been doing for the associate minister? Because you came up here with me, and now they have flipped the house of God upside down. I don't know who came up with it. You know, some people are just persuasive. They're not anointed, they're just persuasive. Girl, this is what I think we ought to be doing this. I, you know, you got this center, you know, it looks like the Holy Ghost showing me. If, if it don't line up with the vision of the house, it, it needs to move to another house. Y'all just boring, y'all just boring, listen to me. <laughs> just bring God your own spirit, bring God your brokenness, and God can I get all business. And when I get through with you, the world don't know that God is from where. When we come in here for this word, you wonder why we give you the meal, why we give you the gifts, why we do all this. It's not because we're showing off. We want you to know how much you are loved. Yeah. God made it possible for all of these things to come. And he said, this is how I want it done. Yeah. There are instructions that are given, and if you follow what God is saying, you will find yourself in a place that you've never been before. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, we just say thank you. Thank you. For the song and praise and worship. Yes, yes. For the food that we ate that nourished our physical yes, body. For yes. the word of God that refreshed our spirit yes. today. Yes. God, now as we depart from this place, let us take the word that, that we have heard yes. and let us share it out to those who were not here today. Yes. We ask God that when we speak, let self decrease, God, and you increase. Yes. Speak through our lips yes. of play. Let your anointing fall upon us, God. Yes. I pray for safe traveling mercies for now to their next destination. I ask God again that you bless them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Whatever their hands touch, God let it prosper so that you will get the glory.